Mother is desperate tonight to be reunited with her children in America. She was smuggled here illegally and went back to Thailand to clear up her visa so she could get her green card, but she never imagined her visa would be denied for good. CBS 2's Christine Lazar is here with this amazing story in a wrong kind of way. Christine. Yeah, it's really incredible. And this mom is literally locked out. The family is trying everything to do to get the 35-year-old back to the United States so she can be reunited with her husband and three boys. But at this point, the outlook is bleak. You guys come here, talk to mommy. Over video chat, it's the only way Nang Hostetler can talk to her three sons. Say bye-bye. Four-year-old twins Landon and Logan and five-year-old Jacob live here in the San Fernando Valley with their father, Seth, while Nang is thousands of miles away in her native Thailand, unable to return to the U.S. where she has lived for the past 17 years. Most of their phone calls are filled with tears. She's told me a few times she just feels like she wants to die. I mean... It's that bad. Nang admits she broke the law when she came here in 1999. She was undocumented. A professional smuggler brought her in. Her sister paid the bill. She came in, you know, not a right way. She knows that. She was, you know, a young girl, 19, and, you know, scared. After getting married and starting a family, Nang hired an attorney and began the path to legal citizenship. We've done everything right. We've gotten all the forms that were needed, uh, a waiver for, you know, her unlawful presence in the in the United States. In January, Nang went back to Thailand to finally clear up her illegal entry into the U.S. and apply for a visa. The couple thought it was just a matter of paperwork. Instead, the State Department denied the visa, accusing Nang of being a smuggler. What they denied her for... Uh, is, is shocking. Their attorney immediately filed an appeal, providing the government with two signed depositions, one from her sister and one from a woman who also came over here with Nang 17 years ago. Both testified that Nang wasn't a smuggler, but that motion to reconsider was also denied this past week. The Hostetlers say the State Department hasn't released what evidence, if any, they have against Nang, and they wouldn't comment on it to us because visa applications are confidential. There's four U.S. citizens here, my three sons and me, who are basically, you know, being told, uh, if you want to live with your mom, you're not going to live in the USA anymore. You have to go. Nang also has a rare neurological disorder, which her mother died from at just 48 years old. She already walks with a cane and will likely need a wheelchair soon. Her husband fears her best years are slipping away without her family by her side.